welcome to a bonus video. Uh, two bonus videos in one week. I don't think I'm ever gonna do this again, but uh, uh, a bonus video is warranted today. Not just because my entire upload schedule was completely screwed up yesterday because YouTube still is not uploading my video in the time of this recording. Oh, YouTube, you had better get yourself put together or else I'm going to be really mad. But also because this is a blaster that I am so excited about that I need to do a review right now. I can't wait. This has to come out tomorrow. This blaster hasn't gotten my usual testing procedure because, well, it's already late in the day and I usually start that pretty early in the morning and go throughout the whole day. And today has been busy because I had to get this godforsaken thing. But I did still get this blaster and I put it through a cromulent enough testing procedure that I think it's worth reviewing. So the Nerf rival pipe- wait, 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 wait. To the keen eye you may be noticing, oh big brother! <laughs> What do you want, mate? Are you harassing my younger brother? Well, I'm going to give you this one warning right now. Stand down or else I'll get involved. The jokes aside, they look the same. <laughs> like, same exact size, same proportions, same blaster. No. Different blasters these two are, completely different mechanisms. And don't you worry, the knockout will get a review someday because I want to review this blaster. But for today, we're going to be reviewing its newer younger brother, the Pilot. Let's get into this. First of all, I gotta clarify, what does this color scheme mean? If y'all are not acquainted, here are the new rival rep. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't those supposed to be yellow? No, not anymore. They're blue now. Blue is the new yellow. These rounds are actually made custom designed to be as aerodynamic as possible, and they showed specific footage that shows these things are basically laser beams that are physical in form. So they won't shoot straight forever, but they definitely will shoot a lot straighter than traditional rival rounds, and I've noticed tremendously that they don't veer nearly as much as original rival rounds do. Worth noting, 100%. Worth noting as well though, is that these rounds are not a new type of ammo like Hyper is. They are cross compatible in old rival blasters and regular rival rounds work in this. Thank God. If we actually take a look at the blaster and start out with the design and ergonomics, I mean, look at this design. It looks, it's, it's so, oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's so, old school like western yet so futuristic and yet so modern at the same time i didn't even know that that was a possible combination the grip on this blaster is just beautiful it's so comfortable it's like the perfect size because no offense to the knockout but the grip on this thing is way too big this one is very similarly sized however they shaved down the sides of the grip to make them flat so that it's not as much girth on your hand and it is the perfect size for your hand to fit onto this thing is so comfortable to hold as well as the fact that all the internals are right here so it feels feels incredibly balanced. This blaster has a T-pole, not very similarly to the knockout, but this is a case where a T-pole is done very good. Because the T-pole is so big, you can actually get a really nice firm grip on it, and because the grip is already so big and there's so much distance between it and the grip, there is zero chance of the T-pole smacking your hand on the back. Thank you, Hasbro, this is great. We gotta talk about the mechanism because this is the coolest mechanism I've ever seen. So you remember how the knockout came out and everybody was just like, okay, well that's pretty cool. It's like a breech barrel. You break it open, you put a dirt in there, but you had to do two steps in order to load it. Three steps actually. Open it, put a ball in there, close it, pull this down and then slap it back into place before you could even shoot one. Oh no, 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 not this one. Watch this. Prayers answered. Prayers answered more. Prayers answered again. The function of breach breaking this thing is so flawless and done so smoothly and effortlessly. The T-pole is a very smooth, very nice feeling, crisp feel. And the way that it ejects forward and pushes down to just the right position, it opens just enough for you to get the best amount of space in there. And then it clicks down into place with the breech barrel open. Then you load one rival round into the front like an actual breech brake, pull it up and shove it back into place, and now you're ready to fight. You don't have to deal with any of the extra bells and whistles that you'd have to deal with with the knockout. This thing does it automatically. And just in case you guys aren't already flocking to Walmart trying to get these as fast as possible, uh, there's more. The trigger pull, very nice. 
metal spring. They don't have the plastic springs in this. The trigger feels great. It's very smooth and filleted, even though it's flat on the front. It doesn't really matter because of how big the grip already is. Just the tip of your finger is going to rest on the trigger anyway, so it works really well. It's got iron sights on the top, which is about as simple as you can get, yet it works effectively because, well, it, it's a Nerf gun. It's not going to shoot like a laser beam. Oh wait, it almost kind of does. So I'm going to fire six shots with regular rival rounds and then shoot the two included accu rounds to see if there's any difference of this close of range. I doubt it, but we can see anyways. I'm used to looking for a priming handle. Ah, it's hard to prime. Ah, it sucks having a broken hand. Come on. Stupid. Alright, okay, that works. Now for the two included Accu rounds. They seem to seal a bit better, but that might also just be because they're newer. So! Oh. What do I think of the Nerf Rival Pilot? Well, I don't think that you should flip it because you might cause battle damage to your wall. I I'm actually concerned. I want to look at it. Is it? Is it good? Oh no. It's just a bit of a dent inwards, but I think it'll be all right. It hit like right here on the corner. Is there any damage on the blaster? No, there isn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, I think this blaster is a super sick pistol. Uh, seriously, one of the coolest emergency pistols ever. No, screw it. This is the coolest emergency pistol ever. This literally tops the uh, that one in the end strike series I thought was so good. I can't remember the name. The reflex. This thing tops the reflex. Genuinely, I love this so much. It's not too big, but it's also not tiny, so it's not gonna fit like in super tight pockets, but it'll definitely fit in a cargo pocket, no problem. So if that's what you're using for your emergency pistols, this will work just fine. It's not too heavy, and the mechanism is so cool that I can't not recommend this. If you would like to pick one of these up, which I seriously recommend doing, it is an amazing little pistol. I will link one to... Uh, Walmart in the description below. With all that said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below what do you think of the Rival Pilot or any blasters you'd like me to review in the future, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!